Hey, 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 this is the Bow Doctor. Hey, 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 hey. I said one too many hey's. That's not good luck. Ah, beautiful day today. Look at that bay. Whoa, diddly. Look at that. Almost slack tide. Whew, it ain't as low as it has been. Down here with Big Jim and the 210 Sea Runner 2022. This is a buy for somebody. Just came in. I'm just doing a consignment run out. Um, God, I have the same boat, 2022 and 2023. So I'm imagining, and this is all equipped, you're saving at least 10 grand, if not more, from the same boat. And this has only got 21 hours on it. So it's kind of a no brainer. It's all ready to put in the water and fish. You got the Simrad radar, you got the F200 Yamaha, the T99 Tiller. 838-88H dual wipers, hard top, halogen light, window stop, suction cup. These work a lot better, I think. Tall windows, nice long wipers. You got it looks like your polarized windows, spare tire, swing tongue, top mount coupler. So between 23 and 26 inches from the bottom to the top of your tongue will make it level. You always want to get this thing as level as you can. If you can't get it level, I'd rather have it go down than have it come up an inch or two. I'd put a little bit more weight instead of having a tongue light. Uh, check the brake fluid, which is under there. Uh, Peekaboo hole there, two inch ball cables. Uh, this is what I was talking about. See, these, th these are good, but this is a good example. If that gets chewed up through time, corrosion is gonna get into those and start eating those up. So, I mean, these will last for a few years, but <laughs> probably drug them on the ground or something but when you start seeing them cracking especially cracking and then you peel it back and you see rust you use time to change those always cross them keel roller of course the keel does not center of the boat does not ride on that that's just for protection if you sink the trailer uh, you don't run your keel up against your trailer nice sliding windows gear bath oil hubs brown good white bad <laughs> it's kind of funny actually if you think about it I said this a long time ago so it's not a racist thing okay uh, five lugs uh, half full three quarter full you're fine quarter yeah uh, so all you have to do is look hey look good let's go no more of that pump of grease in there uh, chine guides which is good in some aspects uh, I mean, they will help you keep it on the trailer, but if you put too much in the water, this will go over and hit this. Load guides are ideally, these are meant for jets that ride right almost touching that uh, reverse chine on the side. That, that way you can't, but with that much space, you can still get the boat crooked. So you just got to learn how much of the trailer to put in. But they did extend the bunk almost to the back, which is nice on the offshore. They didn't have to. They could have stopped it right there. So they did a good job there. Heavy duty uh, tie down eyes. T99, here's your trim right here, safety. You got your uh, friction right over here. You got a friction right here. That's uh, keep it from moving side to side. Choke, fresh water flush. They zip tied those, they're bolted on, that's good. 11 by seven, again, 25 gear case. So it's got the same thrust as a 25, probably more because you got this escape here for back pressure. So you can you got like 60% more backup power. It's instant when you hit it, you go. It ain't like you hit it, and you're not going anywhere. Uh, 200 in like, now these are the ticket. There's a couple of these uh, variable cam shift timing. You get to the VMAX and you get that stuff. But these got power. The horsepower kicks in at 2200. Most of them will kick in at 38 to 4800 to get your peak horsepower. These kick in so you got like dead stop quarters, half, three quarter. When you hit it, you can feel it just take off. Like that four bell kicking in. And the zincs are working, looks like. Now, if they get a little white, spray some Crojan X on them. You do want to see them pit. If they're not pitting, they're not doing their job. Okay, these here, you can get to your, don't over tighten those, but you can get to your live well and your bilge pumps really easy. And if you forgot your drain plug, you can sneak in there and put one from the inside. 2022. Fuse scrap, they even bottom painted it, galvanized trailer. Hubs are good. The H, you've got the good 5225 or 6 antenna, reads a whole eight feet. Anchor pulpit, yeah, this is a hell of a buy for somebody. <clears throat> and then in here, dual batteries. 
courtesy lights, fish box, wars down. That's how you build. Pump out on the macerator if you have scales in it. If you're, <coughs> say you're at home, I tilt the boat up like this, pull the drain plug, open that valve. That way any water that gets into here is just gonna go right out your drain plug instead of having to hold your finger on this button. Yamaha 10 Micron, the best filter, stick with that. Yamaha does have a couple good things like ring free. Their filters are good. And then uh, Corrosion X is good. Salt Away is good, okay? Some of those ain't Yamaha products, but they're good stuff. And I take that, uh, or Corrosion X, see that whole panel over there with your uh, terminals? Spray it down every six months to a year or at the end of the season, it'll keep all corrosion off. You got corrosion build up, spray them turn, it'll eat it right up. Prime bulb, he's running, which is smart. He's running a portable tank. And this amount here <laughs> would get you back. I mean, you could run this bay all day long on that kicker on this and still probably have gas left. So just to let you know, you know, there's your uh, auto build pump, another build pump. Uh, there's your wash down pump right here or no I'm sorry I take that back that's your fish box macerator pump right there and insulated fish box light here switch for that is right here tie bar you really I don't even think he's got that hooked up you don't need it and I'll show you why especially if you're running a tiller and here comes Benny Zuma peanut butter and jelly Got your sleeper bed conversion, your bars are up there. Dual wipers, nice tray, grab handles, nice suspension seats, swivel, arms adjust, backs adjust, 703 control box. You got your Lowrance, your good Lowrance, uh, latitude and longitude, so that's got built in. AIS probably. You got your suicide knob here. I put some gas in it, let me see how much that brought you. About a half a tank, like I say 21 hours. It's right here, that uh, 14 hours. Holy shit! Doesn't have any hours on it. Horn works, wipers work. That works. Nav light works. Courtesy lights work. That light works. So we're good to go. Oh, and hold it. Here's a rare find when you come down to the bay. We got peanut butter. No jelly ain't here today. Oh. Where's jelly? Yeah, where, where's jelly? He's working on the flag. Ah. Oh. Gonna fix your bumpers for you. See, 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 this guy takes care of me down here. He makes sure I can get in and out of this water. <laughs> All right, this is Boat Doctor out.